Hello and welcome to Rule Breaker. Today we're going to do something a little different and talk about the top 10 video games for board gamers. Uh, usually it's people who play video games who tend to gravitate towards board games. Um, but there are a lot of board gamers out there who are not video games fans per se. Um, and I thought it would be fun, seeing as I'm a video game designer for my full-time job, to uh, pick a bunch of video games that I figured board gamers would like if they had never seen them or heard of them before. Um, so let's uh, let's get straight to it. Number 10 is Divinity Original Sin. This is a RPG by Larian Studios. It is um, You can play it single player or you can play it as a group. Um, it's a cooperative game if you're playing as a group. You follow a story and what I think board gamers will like about it is it takes a lot of those um, dungeon crawl style uh, board games like Descent and you know typical D&D style things and has a really good battle system and action point system um, and it, the narrative and the story is excellent in this game it's really really good I think it, it's a, the kind of game that I would have loved to have had as a teenager or a child um, getting into you know fantasy games and stuff like that and I think um, board gamers will have a lot to like in this game the combat the the game style all of that it's really really fun and uh, highly recommend it that's Divinity Original Sin number nine is a little bit of a different game here it's a uh, bridge constructor portal this is a puzzle game I guess you can say where you're um, lining up different supports and roads and and um, beams and things like that to create different bridges but it's mixed with the portal license so if you've ever heard of uh, portal or portal 2 from valve this uses the same kind of aesthetic and the idea of going through one portal and coming out the other uh, it's got a really cool physics system um, and it's a lot of fun i can't really think of many board game things that are like this i guess it's not really like any board games i just think that it would fit with the type of things that typical strategy gamers and board gamers and particularly fans of puzzles will like uh, so check this one out that's bridge constructor portal number eight is hearthstone so this is probably the most famous game on this list um it's by blizzard who do world of warcraft starcraft all that sort of this is their uh, ccg digital ccg um, it's quite streamlined it's very simple compared to a lot of like lcgs and ccgs that you might know from board gaming um, but it's really fun it's very easy to get into it's got a great UI um, the system is very straightforward and there's a lot of cool combos you can do if you're a fan of Magic the Gathering or Game of Thrones LCG or Netrunner or any of those kind of games this will probably feel quite straightforward quite simple but it's a lot of fun and it's really good on mobile devices it's something fun to play if you're like on the bus or the train or whatever so it's a really good one that's uh, Hearthstone Number seven is Plants vs. Zombies. Um, this is a great game. It's a cool uh, strategy game where you are a bunch of plants um, defending a house in a garden from uh, rampaging hordes of zombies. It's kind of a terror defense game. The zombies are coming from uh, right to left and you are planting plants that can defend the house against them. It's got a really great sense of humor. Um, the progression is very straightforward. Usually, when you get a new plant, you kind of need it for the next level. There's a little uh, hint for you, but um, the strategy is quite straightforward. But it's just such a joy to play. It's so much fun, and I think most board gamers will enjoy the the pace of this game. It's not too hectic. It's just right. Number six is the Shining Force series. Now, this is probably my favorite game of all time. Um, the games originally came out for the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis if you're in the US. Um, they are turns based tactical strategy games. They're one of the very first ones along with Fire Emblem, well, even before, a long time before Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, these games are uh, grid based battles, taking the right turns, uh, using magic, doing damage, fighting enemies, fantasy. Again, another one of those games that fits in with that cool. Um, fantasy dungeon crawl style aesthetic um, and with the turns based nature of it I think it's one of the most um, applicable games for board gamers of all of these 
So that's Shining Force. Number five is very similar to Shining Force, actually. It's Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. This is for the Nintendo Switch. Also a top-down uh, tactical turns-based grid battle um, strategy game. This time using um, Super Mario and all of his buddies um, in a really interesting movement mechanism and a very clever um, way of doing battles and puzzles. This one is a bit more universal than previous games like um, Divinity Original Sin and Shining Force in that it's just very well taught, it's very easy to get into. Um, it's for the Switch so you can you know play it on the go or you can play it at home, whichever. Um, it's got a great sense of humor and the turns based nature of it um, fits really really nicely for a typical board gamer. Uh, that's Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Number four, we're seeing a bit of a trend here, is another uh, tactical turns based strategy game. It's XCOM Enemy Unknown. I think the first one in particular would probably appeal to board gamers more than the second one. Um, the sort of base construction of the XCOM HQ itself is um, a big part of why I think that might be more of a board gamer style thing. Um, it's got a lot of planning, strategy, um, you know, um, working out what you want to do over a long period of time is really key to this. Um, much like a, a big Euro game or um, a proper miniatures game, XCOM is like a nice combination of the two of those, which almost sounds like an oxymoron, um, but it works super well. And this game is the right amount of time. Uh, you can put, jump in and jump out of it. It's got a lot going for it. It's a really great one. I think a lot of board gamers who haven't tried it before would like XCOM Enemy Unknown. Number three is Into the Breach. Um, despite its retro graphics, this game just came out uh, last year in 2018. It is another tactical turn-based game, but it's got a really puzzly nature to it. Unlike previous uh, previously mentioned games, this one is ultra quick. Um, rounds take five minutes at most. You've got three units. Um, they all have a speciality. And you're trying to work out what's the most cost-effective way to save the world. Uh, this game is absolutely ingenious. It's one of the best games of last year. And it comes highly recommended from all kinds of critics and reviewers across the board. Um, I think it would be a real big hit with board gamers, especially if you don't have a lot of time to play. You can do this in chunks. Uh, Into the Breach is a total winner. Go check it out, please. That's Into the Breach. Number two is Duelist. Now, Duelist is a free-to-play CCG <laughs> with a board and miniatures, uh, essentially, on it. So you have cards which summon creatures onto a board. They act and behave like miniatures that attack one another. They have HP and attack damage, stats. Um, you can do cards that do instant abilities buff up other things with attachments, so all these typical CCG tropes. Um, it's got this really interesting pixel art style that's retro but across really beautiful uh, high detail backgrounds. The magical aesthetic is really amazing. Uh, the combos you can pull off in this game are just so much fun. Um, it's my favorite digital CCG by a long way. Um, I haven't played it for a few months and I really miss it. I really want to get back into it. That is Duelist. And number one, and probably the game that you might have expected to be number one, um, no matter who you are, is Civilization. I'm going to say five, but also six. Um, I recommend both of those over Civ 4, Civ 3, and anything before that, purely because of how easy they are to get into compared to the other ones. The user interface, um, the tutorialization, and just the visual language that they use to teach you how to play. Um, if you're coming into this game as a board gamer, you'll recognize quite a lot of the advancements that have happened in both fields. Um, they come together in Civ, particularly Civ 6. Um, Civ 5 is the one I've poured the most time into. Civ 6 is just a natural progression of that. Like It's just a slightly more advanced, but again, in some ways, more streamlined uh, game. So, Civ there's not a lot to say that you probably haven't heard before other than it's just the ultimate um, save game <laughs> which is the genre and is why the genre is called that is because of this game um, and the board game ancestor of it 
so if you haven't played it before I highly recommend give it a try just like all the other games on this list so here hopefully you'll find at least one video game that piques your interest and until next time this has been Rule Breaker have a good day Thank you.